going to be a lot of, hey, how can I keep Yoshi off of me? Because, wow, he is fast. And Mega Man wants to be going away. And Mega Man wants to be going for these places. Um, but how do you do that against Yoshi is the question. That's, yeah, that's the bigger question, too. Yoshi's got some... I was going to say, this is the weirdest Yoshi. I miss the black Yoshi color, but I guess they changed it into the carpet Yoshi. It is what it is. But, uh, yeah. hold on. He just looks like just filled there. with static electricity. You, you, you just touch him and you get bolted. You know? the, yeah, it feels he, he like a, a Pikachu it. support. You know, he, he looks like a velvet cooter. You know, you know, like that material? <laughs> you know, like the shiny one that kind of always looks like it's a little bit oily, too? Why? Why, why would they make him fuzzy like that? Yeah. I, he, I don't understand. But he's got the it, same material as, like, a tennis ball. That's what I'm seeing on my screen. <laughs> That's how I feel, at least. Nonetheless, though, of course, uh, 800 here up against Jake. Doing a pretty solid job just trying to avoid a lot of things from Steve. Using the egg roll a little bit to try to move around. Nonetheless, though, 800 still down on, on 114. Jake on 41. Definitely trying to stop. <gasps> Okay, almost hitting scary. Enderman. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got a little bit spooked as well, but Jake almost actually cleaning up that stock. Not able to find it quite yet, though. Amante just looking for any opportunity to be able to make up this damage. Not going to be following up off of the mine call. You know, Jake going to be respecting it at that distance. Probably not confident that they would be able to find it. Wow. That was an excellent down smash. Force smash that's going to be punished while on shield there, of course. That's the crazy thing, too, about Jake. Always looking to just kind of play a little bit around the mm -hmm. zone of his opponents and then try to immediately force him to go into moves where he can benefit from hitting them. Nonetheless, that's a good punish there, using the down beat to get away from the down smash on Enderman. Yeah, and I have to say, actually going for grab out of shield, um, even though it's actually one of the slower options uh, for Steve out of shield was probably a pretty good choice because F smash has so much shield pushback. Yoshi, you know, he juts his head back. Um, oh, that's true. You know, yeah, and he like really positioned himself farther back. So more often than not, even though it like numbers ways it might be unsafe, uh, it's able to bait out poorly spaced out of shield options. So just in general, I feel like that's just, you know, really good situational awareness from Jake. Right now they're gonna be trying to mix up the landing with Anvil. Amante gonna be ready for that, you know, just sort of spacing and waiting that uh, situation out completely. All right, using that mine card to kind of get in, using the excellent use of uppers too. You know what happens when Enderman is able to get those up airs. can carry you all the way to the ceiling, and at worst, you'll lose your stock, or you might be forced to recover. But that's a great punish on the Elytra, like I said earlier. But not, once Fox. again, just not finding that kill, Steve, actually. But the next one will definitely be able to do it. Yoshi, once again, so much to have ability, trying to find that landing. Uh, going to be getting it called out by Jake, not actually able to get the shield out in time, and able to double jump past the TNT. Really good use of the drift. Up through, it doesn't do it either. Wow. Yeah. All right, 155, Jake 132, no out of shield punish, and the up smash too will stop an out of shield play, but you can see the starting frames of what was grabbed for Jake. Nonetheless here, that's 155, 800, the backer will take care of it, and Jake continues to mine away. Yeah, uh, this game is looking completely even right now. Almost getting that down, but only getting one of those multi-hits. Uh, Jake still able to reset and get away from that situation entirely. That is a lot of iron on deck for Jake. Iron is it's probably one of the most important uh, resources that Steve does have. It's going to be how you get off of the corner. It's going to be how you stall and mix up your landings. There's so much that you need to be respecting about that move. All right, Anvil to get the landing. Jake also mines the Anvil. You're able to get iron off the Anvil as well if you mine it. All right, Jack sets up the plot, the blocks, able to go through with the minecart. Nothing here. I do like the fact that he forward smash just the blocks because you're looking to see if 800 is going to be anywhere near close to that. Ooh, tries to be able to connect the forward. Is not able to find it quite yet. Going to be going through the jab mix up into the F smash, trying to maybe catch a preemptive option out of shield. Not able to go through those quite yet. Wow, I have to say, Amante has been doing an excellent job of just calling out Jake and all these commitments. Gets the down beam, but Jake's oh, so smart to boot. drop through shield. Wow. Uh, that was just really good play from Amante. They respected the right moves. They knew what to punish. They, you know, really weren't letting uh, Jake get away with a lot of those anti kills. Um, yeah, I don't know. They just kind of smothered, uh, smothered Jake towards the end. Yeah. And honestly, I have no other way to say it. But yeah, Jake was definitely smothered towards the end. The threat of the down B is really strong because it can also potentially get shield breaks. <gasps> Not only that, even if it doesn't get shield breaks. It'll also be able to just do enough knockback if you're not able to parry it or if you let go shield at the wrong time. 
it's just, yeah, a lot of pressure that I saw from 800 just continuously put on a Jake that eventually led to that great use of Nair off the stage. For sure. So going into the next game, like, honestly, like, there were definitely times when Jake was prioritizing going for resources over, um, you know, maybe trying to catch more landings from Yoshi, maybe trying to follow up off the cut. Um, and then as a result, Amate was just, like, able to really cut the disadvantage uh, and just be able to play the game again. Uh, yeah. Right now, using the egg as an option just to sort of let themselves get back in the Jake's own blocks. Keeping him like stuck. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You always have to be mindful of that. And that's what you that's what I like about you said too. There are times where you do see Jake go for those blocks, and unfortunately that was gonna be much to Jake's demise, but also times where just Jake should be setting up for an edge guard or a read there. And because he's a little bit spaced and mining materials, he's not where he needs or where he should be. Nonetheless, though, blocks are set up here, and Jake looking to get that up tilt and try, gets the grab Ooh. here. What a back. That throw. wall just coming in so clutch, yeah, just like forcing that wall tech. Um, trying to maybe try to get a punish out of shielding, but you know, man, this this game this game has some sticky platforms, my friend. Uh, I think because wow, it is difficult to get off of those. You just saw like how long it took Amante uh, to be able to get off of that. Yeah, oh, what a setup for up smash, but unfortunately Yoshi nowhere near it. Good throw either way though. The backer will put him off the stage. Jake with the landing, looking to get some kind of backer. Great play too because if you get the back, backer has got such an arc as well as enough knockback and a soft spike hitbox, like if you're not ready for it, you'll definitely get followed up. Yeah, that move does everything. That move, like, straight up honestly cheats, and it's, like, safe enough, but, wow, uh, that grab is so active, actually still able to hit Yoshi through his goal there. So, um, Amante just kind of have to be a little bit more careful about the options that they're buffering uh, out, of, uh, out of shield. So, Jake, once again, asserting the stock lead for themselves. Uh, I would like to see Amante do what they did last game when uh, how we saw them play against Game & Watch, which is a lot of those B-reverse egg lays off of the platform. Uh, I feel like with the way that Jake is positioning themselves right now, it would be able to do a lot. Yeah. Neutral air. I like this the big from boot 800. gets yeah. the Tims out. <laughs> Looking to get the East Coast Tims is what some people like to call it there. You got to watch out, yeah. man. Those, those Tims, if you're not ready, man, do some crazy damage. But what a read there on the landing using the minecart. Jake holding the stage, and there is the up smash. Not going to be it quite yet. 149. Yeah, wow, not even with like 149% of rage. That's a... Uh... That's a, that's a lot. Yoshi's still able to live that down smash. Gonna be set to the opposite side, but can't keep recovering and high against Steve like that. Jake compensated for his distance properly. I have to say, you know, we saw this uh, with the last set that we saw Jake playing. Uh, Jake is really, really good at uh, adapting and incorporating a lot of set play, especially with Anvil. Oh, that was good on Jake too to try to charge up that forward smash. As soon as he saw that up tilt, wasn't even, I'm sorry, the upper wasn't even going to connect to anything. It's a good way to just read 800's opportunity or probably a panic air dodge. No yeah, parry. And again, Jake is uh, doing an excellent job of just dropping the shield because the worst thing that you can do in that situation is hold shield. You hold shield, you die. You yeah. don't skip. That's GG's, right? Because uh, you get your shield broken, you're gonna eat a smash attack. They were trying to go for you to follow up out, out of the egg lay. Uh, Jake able to mash out of it, takes a bit more percent, gets a grab for a bit of stage control, sets up those blocks to force the way that Amante has to be moving. Yeah. Uh, find that up smash once again. So that down tilt felt like it was going to set up into those blocks, maybe try to get like a punish Oof. off of attack, but wasn't able to find it. Yeah, what a good stall from Jake, too, because we see Jake go for the jump at the ledge and then immediately go for the minecart, just trying to immediately stall his recovery, but also punishing 800 for being in a space where 800 would like to be with a Nair. So nonetheless, there yeah. is going to be a diamond sword in play right now, and Jake, no grab, and a, an 800 here with the forward air. Down air, no plays. Again, I feel like every single time that um, Jake does see somebody at high percent, they do fish for those kills, they fish for those F-smashes, especially out of spot dodge. Um, and we see the way that Amante has already started to adapt, going through jabs, something that they can do continuously to be able to cover the spot dodge. Um, and just like that, Jake's lead is like slowly disappearing before their eyes, committing to all of these smash attacks. Yeah. So dangerous. It's caused, it's caused Jake a pretty much... It's it, what originally was Jake's game to win has become Jake's game to lose, and unfortunately, and that's that what is... happens when you fish, baby. You fish a little bit too much, and then suddenly your bait is gone. Uh, wow, Avante did an excellent job of cleaning up that game. They got like a hundred percent deficit as well, and they just put on that pressure. They put on that heat. 